Good afternoon and welcome back to Good with Truth. Today we're continuing our series on discovering your assignment. And while we discover our assignment and what we have been called to do and to teach, the enemy comes to fight against us. But you know the word of God says, though they fight against us, they will not prevail. And today I'm speaking about fight for it. 1 Samuel chapter 16 verses 11 to 13 says, And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest, and behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy, and withal of a beautiful countenance, and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. So here we are seeing the anointing of King David. As a child, he was anointed to be king. Now Samuel came to his house to anoint someone as king, but he did not know it was him. And all of his elder brothers were approached to be king, but God said, not them. And the same David that they said, oh, he's with the sheep. He's just a sheep keeper or a shepherd. The same young man that they were discounting was the same one they had to wait to come into the house before they could sit because Samuel said we will not sit down until he comes here. So the same person that they were dishonoring was the same person that God decided to honor in their presence. And he became the one that God wanted to anoint. And in this situation, David could not fight for himself, but the prophet Samuel fought for him. Whatever your assignment is, when you discover your assignment, you have to fight for it. And even if you are in a position that you can't fight for yourself, God sends divine help. They are called destiny helpers. Whether they are people physically in the earth or whether they are angels sent on your behalf, we all have destiny helpers that God has dispatched to fight on our behalf. But we also come to a place in our lives where God says, you have to fight for it. And when you decide to fight for it, then you will truly discover what your assignment really is. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verses 32 to 37 says, And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock and went out after him and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth and when he arose against me i caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him thy servant slew both the lion and the bear and this uncircumcised philistine shall be as one of them seeing that he had defied the armies of the living god David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. So here we see David. He has gone to bring lunch for his brothers. But he saw his assignment disguised as a giant. He did not know what he was going to meet. But if we look at the account before, he was listening to the soldiers speak. He was listening to how they would speak about the Philistines. He was even listening to the grumbles of the Philistines. 
but he knew that he was on assignment. Sometimes we do not know exactly what our assignment is, but when we get into the room that has our assignment, we would notice it. We would know that that is the assignment God has called us to. And here we are seeing that David's assignment requires a fight. He was anointed to be king. He had a kingdom, but the promotion did not come without a fight. David had to fight a lion, he had to fight a bear, and now he had to fight a Goliath. And this Goliath was nothing compared to the battle he would go through for years with King Saul, but it prepared him to keep his position. So, as we discover our assignment, let us understand that not because God gave you an assignment means that the enemy is not working to snatch it away. In fact, they are working double time just to ensure that you do not come into your calling, just to ensure that you are not aware of your assignment. But God is saying today to fight for it. He is saying today, as you discover your assignment, a fight is required. Whether you stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, whether you pray and praise, whether you call upon his name in worship, or you just declare prophetic declarations over the promise he has given to you. However it is you have to fight, God is saying, fight for it. When you discover your assignment, there's a fight attached to it. And he's saying, now is the time. This is the season. It's time to fight for it. David fought for his assignment and so too you are required to fight for yours. So continue to discover your assignment by fighting for it. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.